All right guys, so welcome to another Overflow Basics video blog. Today we're gonna to be talking about how we determine lateral lengths. What, are, what is a lateral? And why aren't we drilling all the same length? What are some complications that we have? We're gonna be talking about all of these things and more. So let's dive in. All right, so diving in, first off a little bit of background, we're gonna be talking about the definition. So lateral is basically the horizontal portion of the well. So it's not quite exactly horizontal, it's not quite 90 degrees from the vertical, but it's gonna be pretty close. Your formations are going to have some sort of dip to them. Typically, they're not exactly flat at all. Here's an aerial view, just to give you a little bit of perspective. You've got, here's your surface location. You have the vertical section of the well. You're trying to get down to where you want, the formation that you want. Then you're gonna kick off and with directional tools, and that'll be a video in and of itself. And we talk about directional drilling in our courses on our website if you wanna check them out. But anyways, you're gonna build the curve and then you're gonna land and go build your lateral. So this is your horizontal section of your well. That's what we call a lateral. So the length of it is called the lateral length. And if you wanna view it airily on a multi-pad, on a multi-well um, pad, you've got you know, three wells here in this case, these are all laterals. These white sections, it's all laterals. Those are the lateral length. So what this is doing is it's providing a greater contact area with a formation of interest because you're literally drilling horizontally through that formation. So you've got a ton more exposure. And what this leads to is more and more production. And we're going to talk about the economics and the reasoning behind it here in just a bit. But anyways, it's also important to know that this is becoming very much of a trend in our industry. We've got a lot of operators pushing the limits. This is showing up in a lot of investor portfolios and presentations that are being shown. And it's, it's actually something a lot of companies are beginning to brag about. So a lot of times you see this reflected in the cost per foot and it's referring to the cost of the entire well divided by your lateral length so it's really the cost per your lateral length the lateral foot and what th this is showing a lot of times your cost will go down as you drill longer and longer laterals and we'll talk about the economics again here in a minute it's also important to know why we have this neat little diagram here a lot of times your lateral length is going to be the same on wells on the same pad in the same direction. So this is a little tidbit to note there as well. Now going into the economics. So typically longer is going to be better for a variety of reasons. And again, we've got the, the view here, we've got a couple different, um, you've got two laterals, this is a two, two well pad in this case on this example I'm showing here on the screen. Longer is gonna be better for your drilling costs. So you're, you've got fixed costs of all of this vertical section of your well. It's a fixed cost. You have to pay that to get to what you really want. So the fact that you know, this is all fixed cost, you don't care about any of it. You're not going to produce from it, nothing. What you care about is all in your lateral. So once you start drilling here, it's much cheaper for that rig to keep on drilling. Drill another foot, drill another foot. It's cheaper on drilling costs to keep on drilling. So longer is also typically better for production value. So the longer your lateral, typically, the more you will be producing from that well. And so you can see in this case, this is probably going to be a much higher producing well because it has all of this additional contact area with the reservoir. Also, longer is better for the production equipment and surface footprint. So surface footprint being, you know, you can have one long well as opposed to multiple well pads uh, with laterals that face each other. You're just gonna have a smaller surface footprint. And also, you know, all, this well, each of them is connecting to just one wellhead and one separator, typically. So one set of production equipment. Whereas if you have to drill two laterals to get the same amount of formation exposure, then uh, you're gonna have higher equipment costs. So longer can be worse for things like completion and drill out costs. So typically it's it, longer is better for drilling, but when it comes to completions, you're gonna have a lot more time spent on videos that we'll be posting on these topics later on, but a big component of doing a hydraulic fracturing treatment is the wireline component in a lot of these horizontal shale wells. So you've got to perforate. And every time, every stage that you do in your lateral, you have to run a wireline trip. So you run your perforating guns and everything clear from surface and you have to pump them all the way out your lateral. Well, the longer this lateral gets, the longer it takes for that wireline uh, truck to um, get their guns and their tools pumped all the way out to the end of that lateral. So that cost eventually goes up and also the drill out cost. So 
when you're typically using things such as coil tubing in some areas, when you're, coil tubing is your primary drill out method, when you have a longer and longer well, you, can, you might not be able to reach coil tubing all the way to the end of that well. So that's gonna increase your cost. You might have to bring in a workover rig or, and do a drill out with a workover rig, or you might have to run dissolvable frac plugs. So again, this all kind of contributes back to cost. All right, so longer is also pretty much worse for your risk profile of the well overall if you think about it. You are tying up more and more money into one well as opposed to spreading the risk among multiple wells. Yeah, your overall cost is down if you're drilling a longer lateral. Typically, it's cheaper to just to have longer laterals, but at the same time, your risk profile goes up, especially on one that's super long. So think about all the complications that you can encounter when you're drilling or completing a well. If you've got a side track or if you uh, lose your bottom hole assembly when you're drilling or something happens where you have to abandon that well during drilling or you've got a, a big workover intervention that needs done, that all is adding to your risk profile for that well. And it also has a, a great ability to tie up a bunch of time, especially for the other wells on the pad. If you're drilling this well and you reach complications, then you're, you're just holding up future wells on that pad. And likewise with completions. If, if you've got something that, that fails during completions or you screen out or you drop your guns or you, <laughs> heaven forbid, you cut your wire line or something and you've got to have some type of intervention or bring in coil, it's just more of a, a bigger deal now because you have, you have so much money tied up and again, you're just holding up the other wells on that pad. So. Does it really lo lower your cost? It'll be determined ultimately by the operator uh, what their comfort level is and how they feel about all of these items. And there's more. These are just some of the, the basic ones that, that we thought up for you guys. All right, so let's talk about some of the issues that you can encounter with doing a longer lateral. So first, let's look at drilling. So first off, um, sometimes you, know, you might be pushed for speed. You've got a longer lateral to drill and you're trying to do it in about the same time as you would a shorter lateral, or perhaps you are. So that can lead to higher dog leg severity if you're not careful with your directional drilling basically that's just a drastic change in inclination or direction of a well out in your lateral that can become an issue for liquid loading or um, artificial lift equipment that can become an issue for those things so you might have higher dog leg severity and also your mud properties and efficiencies so as you're drilling this longer and longer lateral you're going to have uh, you're going to have more friction on your pipe it's going to be harder to deal with and also you've got to be pumping uh, typically drilling mud to circulate this well clean as you're drilling and to carry all those cuttings up the surface and it's going to be harder and harder to do as you get further and further out into a lateral and further and further away from the rig so i mean you might have a tw the record right now is about 20,000 feet and so that's a huge lateral on top of all of your vertical section to be pumping away from your rig and so as a bunch to your friction and things like that and in terms of completions it can also Again, I've already alluded to it in this video, increase your wireline run times and also your friction. So as you're pumping, so that's a, a big deal in hydraulic fracturing is your friction pressures and pumping through all of that pipe and out into the formation and the, and the friction with all of that, that's gonna make it a little bit harder to treat and have an effective frac. Also, uh, again, I already alluded to this, coil tubing, it might not reach the end of your well, so you might have to be bringing in a workover rig. And finally in production, your fluid buildup and your liquid loading and it's also important to realize it's not likely to be exactly linear production gains so it's not necessarily saying that if you have a hundred foot laterals and or you might have twice as much you might have a two section lateral or one and a half section lateral so again sometimes you'll find little bins of common lateral lengths depending on where you're operating and also again it's important to realize too 
that your preferred orientation, that reservoir. So whether you're putting uh, that reservoir or that, that well pointing north or south or northeast, south, whatever it is, whatever preferred orientation, that's also going to dictate, again, how long of a ladder you can have based off of the land that you have access to. So with all of these things in mind, hope you learned something. We enjoy doing these videos. Check out our website and also check out oilfoodbasics.com slash learn for more information on just the basics of you know, wellbore schematics, drilling, directional tools, all of these things um, that we talked about in this video more. It's going to combine everything to get you uh, through all of the operations and the upstream oil and gas in a very logical manner. So check those out and also be sure to follow us on our social media platforms. We've got YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like, drop us a comment below. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, connect with us. We'd love to hear from you guys and hope to see you in the next one. Take care.